Hello, my name is Mabel. I'm from the Netherlands and I'm a psychic medium, mental coach. I'm an astrology enthusiast and a tarot reader for all of my life. I learned the tarot when I was very little, I think about the age of 12. I always did go with my mother, mother when she visited psychic mediums and I always adored the tarot. So this reading is for Aries and there are no dates on my reading and if they resonate with you, they're yours. So the first card of the day for my lovely Aries, I'm Aries and Virgo rising and moon in Cancer. The first chart, the queen of pentacles. That's a very happy tarot card, I always think. It's from the Moon Void Tarot. It's a very cheeky deck, very honest. And she takes no prisoners. I have Pluto in the first. The Queen of Pentacles, always taking care for others, always distributing the love, the money, the attention, so that everybody is getting their share of the pie. She is a really a nurturing woman or nurturing man or a nurturer. Anything what you want to be or identify with. The Queen of Pentacles is very analytic because she wants to do it right. And sometimes that's also the downside of the Queen of Pentacles that she sometimes shut off emotionally and only are giving that what she thinks the other people need. Sometimes she doesn't listen enough because if you listen to other people, they will tell you what they want and what they need. And sometimes they don't know by themselves, but it's, I think it's, the utmost form of respect and unconditional love if you listen to somebody and ask them what do you need from me at this moment and if somebody does that for you then you will deal with the queen of pentacles because when they mature when they are right when they are wise they will become a blank canvas so that you can see yourself through their eyes. And that's such a liberating experience if you maybe well, for the first time you are being seen by somebody without judgment, without something that you has to do have to do is you can just be, be yourself with all your downsides, with all your craziness, with all your eccentric moves. And she will let you know it's okay, it's okay. So the Queen of Pentacles also speaks about finance. And maybe this card is today you're reading that you look at your finance are you wearing um, pink colored glasses are you spending too much i have venus in a 12th house at the moment i think i'm entitled of everything i want my bank account doesn't support that feeling but she wants to give also to herself. And it is important that you look at the numbers also, not about the feelings or maybe the lack of nice feelings that you are compensating with material stuff. And that's only you can answer, only that question you can answer. Are you comfortable with who you are at this moment without shopping, without 
giving yourself something from the outside. I think that's a, the message of this card. Your second card. is the rose quartz and it's one of the highest cards in this deck it's a beautiful card it's a, it speaks about blessings it speaks about protection i'm a pink addict everything is pink in my house the rose quartz is talking about your heart that you are safe that your heart is beautiful that you don't have to add anything from the outside. But the most important thing you have to hear today is that you are safe, that you are guided. Maybe you believe in angels, I do. Maybe you believe in God, I do. Maybe you believe in Allah, I do. Maybe you believe in Buddha, you guessed it. When you are thinking about the universe as a, a warm, wise woman and you can reflect anything at her, almost the same like the Queen of Pentacles. And she will give you your image back. If you are angry, she will reflect it. But if you are gentle with yourself, and sometimes that's very difficult for an Aries. I know. I don't always reach my own standards. I think I should do better, more, faster. But that isn't always the case. That's not always needed. Sometimes slow is the fastest way to your success. But you are guided. And maybe it's somebody from the other side. Somebody you love dearly. Who is next to you. Behind you. Is visiting you in your dreams. But you are blessed with the rose quartz. I have a beautiful other deck. It's the Shaman Dream Oracle. And the images are beautiful. Let me take one card for you, Aries. And see what is coming up. Hollow Bone. Teachability. And it's two and eight, and in the numerology it makes one. So you are going on a new path with teachability. So you're teaching yourself something, or um, somebody else is teaching you something, or showing you a new way to go, a new way to look, a new way to feel. And the hollow bone is a sacred instrument. So you can reinvent yourself. And the one is also the number of the leader. So it's, you have to show leadership. And you can be a, an apprentice or you can be a master. And it doesn't matter on which point of the trail you are, because if you're always open to learn the teachability, you always receive blessings. Because everything you encounter on your path will be a lesson, and you never will see it as a failure. It's only feedback from the mirror, from the Holy Mother. And these three cards together 
show you you can make it happen on the material plane you're guided you're safe so now you can begin on a whole new journey on a whole new side something you long for but you never gave yourself permission to explore that side of yourself I always was very shy to speak English very shy I don't know why I did my interviews I wrote for magazines and I wrote books and I always did my interviews abroad in English it looks like there's a layer a layer of protection missing I'm an Aries too and the card said no you're protected don't be afraid you're gonna teach yourself something and that will set you free because the vulnerability is the key to the new life I also have the Kuta row and I want to give you the last beautiful card for my dear Aries. And let me know in the comments if you liked it, if you want something else, if you want more astrology, your suggestions are welcome for my Aries. What is the last message I may give them? The king of air. I have Mercury retrograde in my first house. But I don't know your chart. But you can be very analytic and well-spoken. To the point, and if you are faced with a difficult task, you can do it because the king of air always finds his way. He is a really masculine, testosterone, target driven person. And you can also be a female, of course, but it's a very clear and decisive energy. So that's a beautiful story for you. You can manifest something. You want it for a long time. It can be financial. It can be a new business plan, a new job an endeavor, you are protected. You're gonna learn a lot on this new path and you will excel because your mind is crystal clear and you know what steps to take and you know that you are being guided, that you are being guided on this new endeavor. I hope you like it, my dear Aries. I love you. I blow you a kiss from, it's near Amsterdam in the Netherlands. So you really, this is where I am almost, almost in the fast lane. Bye.